Well, good day, everyone. Viltrox, I've had a bit of a working relationship with them over the last few months where they've sent me a few lenses uh, for the Sony uh, cameras. Uh, and I was particularly interested in a wide angle lens that they just released for the A6000 series type cameras. And it's a 13 mil. So this is the lens that they've actually sent me here. Let me just bring it up. So you can see that it's a really nice looking lens uh, that we've got here. You have your aperture ring here, so you can put it onto auto if you want to go that way, or you can control it manually like this. Now it's very, very smooth to uh, sort of operate this. Also your focus ring here is really nice as well. There's a little bit of resistance to it uh, as well. The build quality is outstanding and it fits the A6000 series cameras very, very well, as you can see. It is a 67 millimeter filter. I love that because most of my filters are 67 millimeters, but the results with this are very, very good. I took it on a whole range of shoots around this beautiful place called Lavendula. It's a lavender farm here. And I also used it when I did a concert shoot uh, just the other day. It was great because I could just use it on the A6500, uh, A6400, sorry. Uh, and it gave me a great focal length to capture the wide angle shots that I used on the day. So that was terrific as well. Let me just show you first a little bit about this lens so I can just show you what the lens is about. So it's just called the Viltrox AF30. 13 millimeter here and it's the 1.4 XF lens. Uh, it is an autofocus lens and the autofocus actually is really, really good. So let me just take you quickly through just a couple of different images so you can see the lens uh, and what it looks like here. This is the B&H website that I'll stick the link down below. They're saying here that it's for E-mount um, and it is an APS-C lens, but you obviously could use it on full frame if you wanted to. It's a 20 millimeter equivalent. So if you wanted to stick it on your full frame cameras, you will get around about 20 millimeter on the 35 millimeter. Uh, it does go from 1.4 to f16 and it's got two aspherical elements. Let me just click down here as well. It's got the STM stepping AF motor. The uh, AF was really good, so it did focus very, very well. Terrific, actually, in fact. It also has a nine blade diaphragm uh, as well. And they're saying just down here that it's ideal for landscapes, cityscapes, street scenes, architecture, etc. I, I love the 24 mil focal length particularly. And so this isn't that far away from that, but it's also a nice wide angle lens that's very fast that you could use on an APS-C camera as well. I, and I love that 1.4 aperture. With the shots that I'll show you shortly, I did try and range the shots th uh, all throughout the day in different apertures so you could sort of see uh, what it looked like. Like I said before, what I did, I decided to take it out on a real shoot. I, I like to show the images that I capture uh, as real images, not, you know, just sort of static ones or things like that. I like to take it out and use it like someone would if they were traveling with it or using it that way in real shoots. So I'm going to show you some images in just a slideshow and you can have a look like that to see what the images actually look like. Uh, I, I mean, I'm really, really impressed with them. The images that you'll see were just taken into Lightroom. They haven't had any editing apart from taking them in and adjusting their little bit of a exposure or something like that but they've had very very little editing done so really they're just like you, you'd see them from when they were captured so let me show you first just a couple of dance shots that I took uh, on the weekend as well you can sort of see how this will work in quite low light scenarios and how it looks at, at capturing that sort of thing so what I did was I had it on my a6400 and I used it to capture these wide images on the day and I had other cameras where I could get closer as well with different lenses on things like that but have a look at these images now and it'll just give you an idea about how it will work in this scenario
Okay, so what do I think about the lens itself? Uh, I think it fits the camera very, very well. It, it, the build quality I've found on all of these Viltrox lenses is very, very good. Uh, outstanding, in fact. The autofocus was terrific. I love the focus ring. Uh, and also I love the aperture ring as well. There's a nice bit of give on that, it, you know, and it just feels like it's it's very, very well made. I love the fact that it's a 67 millimeter filter thread on this because all my filters are 67 mil. That's also very, very fast with glass as well. Uh, so it'll be great for weddings and things like that if you wanted to say take shots inside a reception or something like that or use like I did in those dance shoots. Um, I'm really happy with it. Thank you so much Viltrox for sending me this. I think it's a, a really good part to my kit now uh, and I'll certainly be using it in the future in weddings and things like that and dance um, um, concerts that I do too. Apart from that everyone, if you have any questions leave them down below. Thanks so much Viltrox for sending me this uh, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.